Education Mobile Quality e learning experience on the go. Economic empowerment through agriculture. Economic empowerment entails putting money into one's hand. It is whatever one does to earn money to be able to solve his needs. Economic empowerment could also be seen as making one able to earn a living. As we know, man has three basic necessities of life which are food, clothing and shelter. Yet man has other needs that make life more comfortable. He needs money for health, education, etc. Whatever he does to provide this money is regarded as having economically empowered him. Talking about economic empowerment through agriculture, agriculture provides a means of economic empowerment to up to 75% of the population in different ways. Some people are empowered through involvement with some aspect of agricultural production, while others earn their living by working in the agro-based industries that make use of agricultural raw materials. Yet, some are involved in marketing and research. There are different ways of economic empowerment through agriculture. As we know, agriculture can put money into people's hands to solve their problems. And the various ways in which agriculture can do this include through rearing livestock, cultivating crops, sales of farm produce, rendering services, and through skill acquisition. In the rearing of livestock, livestock provides a whole lot of products which could be sold to earn money. For example, eggs, milk, meat, skin, manure, etc. Employment is also provided as farm attendants and farm managers. In the cultivation of crops, food crops like yam, tomato, maize, and cash crops like cotton, granite, cocoa, cassava, etc. are produced and sold to earn a living. In the sales of farm produce, some people end their living through small scale or large marketing of agricultural produce as wholesalers and retailers. And in the rendering services, there are a whole lot of services that are related to agriculture through which one could earn a living. People who are hired to do such work are duly paid. For example, we have the farm cultivation, weeding of the farm, harvesting of crops, packaging of agricultural products, loading, and the veterinary services. Whereby people render these services, they are duly paid. And in skill acquisition, the education of farmers through workshops and seminars, Teaching of new skills in aspects of agricultural production not only provide a living for the teachers but also equip the learners with saleable skills that make them earn a living.